Good morning, everybody. This is Explorer 867. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Get out and see something new in the field. Get some exercise. <clears throat> this is beautiful country we live in. Regardless of where you're located, there are natural areas that you can go and explore. So get out and see them. Anyway, today I want to uh, show you what I carry when I go out on a day pack. It's a 511 12 pack. It's called the, the Rush 12. And uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it here and, and uh, see what I carry. First of all, the side outside compartments in here. This is where I carry my water for the day sting cup. I carry, uh, I, I set it down in here with paper so that it doesn't rattle. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, I've had this in the fire, uh, but it's made by Pathfinder, and so you've got a, a cup that you can uh, boil water in if you're uh, if you want to make coffee or if you want to make uh, freeze dried food or whatever. You can set this on the fire and uh, and uh, warm your your water. Uh, like I said, this is a 32 ounce uh, canteen, if you will. There's also a lid in here for that nesting cup, so when you're heating the water, it just makes it that much more efficient for heating the water faster. So there's that. This over here is my first aid kit, and uh, it's, it's a modest kit made for day hikes, uh, and we'll go into that. Uh, at a later date there's a little bit that's a little bit more involved than we can handle today in this video this in this front pack in this front pack here I have my fire starting material part of it uh, I'll just show you this this is a bag that contains uh, cotton balls and then I just I get some petroleum jelly and just work it into the cotton balls so they're thoroughly saturated. These are fantastic. Rain or shine, uh, wind or not, these things will uh, combust very easily and it's a, an ace in the hole. I also have what's called fat wood which is pitch saturated uh, wood that you can find in old stumps a lot of times. Uh, particularly here in my part of the country uh, in, uh, in jack pine trees. But you're not limited to that. In here, I have a bunch of these soft and chewy granola bars. I like these things. They're, they're easy on my teeth. Anyway, they're good. They give you a shot of energy if you need it. And if you happen to get stuck out overnight, uh, you've got something to snack on. This is a... Uh, this is a um, five by eight tarp that I carry with grommets so I can set up and make a cover so I can tent myself if you will at night especially comforting if it's raining uh, then in here more of my fire kit this is hand sanitizer hand sanitizer if you squirt a little bit on the wood or on the uh, wood stuffs that you've got needles and small twigs and whatnot squirt this onto that and uh, and then put a match to it boom it'll take right off good stuff to have uh, in here there's a flashlight there's I have a whistle which has a compass on it so so on the compass uh, and a thermometer which is kind of nice uh, there's I care always carry uh, bug spray uh, this in particular is uh, 90, uh, what is it here, 98% DEET. The DEET in the bug repellent is really what makes it effective and against mosquitoes. We've had a lot of mosquitoes this year here and uh, ticks are pretty bad as well. This will, this will help with the ticks. It'll help with the mosquitoes. It's not perfect. Also, I carry a multi-tool and there's many companies that do multi-tools. 
this one is a Gerber and uh, it has uh, pretty much everything you'd need from knives to screwdrivers to pliers and wire cutters. So there's that. Always carry some wire with me. Wire can come in handy, uh, you know, as a as a farmer. Farmers call this farmer's weld. I mean, you can fix a lot of things with wire. Having this is something I strongly recommend in your kit bag. Windproof matches. Uh, these these will combust and stay lit even if there's a lot of wind. And these can be very helpful. Uh, in wet conditions and windy conditions trying to get a fire started. Excellent, excellent for your kit. This, <clears throat> this is a ferrocerium rod. Uh, we call them ferro rods, ferrocerium rods, fire starting rods. Anyhow, if, uh, if you use your knife, get a good knife with a 90, 90 degree edge and you can strike it and it produces a really hot spark and it's a good way quickly to uh, get a fire going uh, without matches. Uh, this handle is fat wood by the way so you can take your knife scrape a little bit of that off and and then strike your ferrocerium into that and it will combust and get your fire started. So that just goes back in there like so okay in here in this outside bag uh, I carry I carry an extra GPS this is a little Magellan that I've had Explorus 210 I've had for years works great uh, I'm not real high on uh, Magellan products but this one happens to work real well and I also have an Explorer uh, what is it XL these are mechanics gloves when you're out in the woods and uh, you're setting up camp collecting firewood uh, just in working in general around camp you, you need to protect your hands uh, any injuries you get while you're out in the woods uh, especially if you're uh, if you're dislocated, if you're lost, and you're out for an extended period of time, you want to protect yourself. You don't want injury. And uh, so that's what these are good for. Okay, in the main pouch... This down here. Okay, in the main pouch, uh, more fire starter uh, stuffs in here. Uh, these are also uh, good. These are these are just fire pellets, and these will actually, if you if you uh, want to use these in conjunction with your uh, nesting cup. Uh, I have a little pop-up stove that uh, that I have uh, that I carry with me. Anyhow, one of these will heat a cup of water, so it's kind of handy to have. It's real fast and in wet conditions, a guaranteed fire. So this is a paracord, and you know you can wear it around your wrist if you want to. I personally don't choose to. It's got a little compass on it. I think rather ineffective as well. I wouldn't trust the compass necessarily, but it's kind of a cool little kit. It does have its own small ferrocerium rod on it for fire starting and its striker here. So you just strike it and, and uh, you can get yourself a fire going. <clears throat> always, 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 always have some tape with you. And this is what they call Gorilla Tape. It is like duct tape, but on steroids, much better tape. Uh, and then a pencil and eraser. And then as a 
Boy Scout, uh, ex-Boy Scout, but always a Boy Scout. Uh, I've got my Boy Scout compass I carry with me. This is just always a fail-safe for me to, for navigation. These, these things work really well. Okay. Also have a whistle. So that's what this is, is a, a whistle so you can signal people if need be. Uh, these are antibacterial uh, wipes, real handy uh, in the woods, uh, just to keep yourself clean. They, they work fantastic. Um, I have issues with my toes uh, getting uh, going numb when they get slightly cold. I got frostbite years ago on one of my feet and it just uh, is an issue. So I carry these. And so if I get my toes get cold, I can just pop these in my boot and they work great. And then uh, for all my electronics or flashlights that I carry with me, I always carry spare, uh, spare batteries. And I recommend lithium batteries. Uh, the lithium batteries will last longer uh, and they tend to do better in the cold weather uh, than do um, the alkaline batteries. This is a knife sharpener, so and it's kind of cool. This is your primary, and this is your secondary. This is a ceramic on this side. You can drag your knife through here, and it will put a pretty good edge on it. Nice to have. Uh, and in conjunction with the tarp, I carry I carry seven of these uh, Coglin aluminum stakes so if you're staking out your tarp to make a uh, a cover for the night these are really handy to have uh, i mentioned the wire as farmers weld zip ties <laughs> zip ties are something that should be in everybody's kit um, have as many as you want to carry I have, I carry, usually carry seven of those with me just as well. Uh, this is a, a headlight, so you can put it up here and, and uh, boom, you've got light so you can see where you're working at night. This really nice to have. Generally speaking, uh, I carry a light Gore-Tex coat, it's a parka. This is handy. It, uh, it'll help keep you warm at night because even if it's 90 degrees in the desert uh, or in central Oregon here uh, during the day, at night it can get down to almost freezing and that's a guarantee. So this is what they call a tack bivy and it's a bag that you can open up and it will you can crawl into it or put your sleeping bag into it and it's a thermal cover that will reflect your body heat it's a mylar product so it'll reflect your body heat back into your your bag or even if you just crawl into it with your clothes on uh, it will really really help it keeps the wind off you in the cold weather and like i said radiates the heat back to your body it's fantastic This, um, this is a saw, and really, I think everybody should carry a saw when you get in the woods. Once again, if you have to make a fire if you're in a survival situation, uh, these come in very handy. It's a small one. Uh, this is a Corona. It's a Corona 7245 RS. Um, really good, very sharp, easy to make, easy to make fire with, with that. Um, this goes with my nesting cup so when I'm cooking uh, some uh, oatmeal or if I'm cooking uh, freeze-dried food or whatever uh, it's nice to have the spoon and it's got a long handle so it's really easy to get into those uh, mountain house packets and stir your food. Even though I always carry a knife okay one is none 
and 2 is 1. This is a secondary backup. Knives are very important in the field. These are incidental. These are made by Anza. Very nice knives. Uh, this this is a uh, just a cap, a nightcap. I wear it at night. So if you're stuck out overnight, or if you're in the cold and the wind, pull this over your head. It's got a fleece on the inside. It just keeps your head very, very, very warm. And then paracord. Uh, this. Uh, paracord is very easy to see at night because these dark spots on it, those are reflective. And then if you set this down during the daytime, of course, the orange is easy to see. I also carry the green paracord. Um, you know, this can be problematic if you drop it uh, and it can be hard to find. So anyhow, that's... So anyway, uh, in the back of the uh, 511 uh, Rush 12 pack, this is a pocket where you can put your sunglasses in it. It's got kind of a, a fleece inside there, so it'll protect the lenses. Uh, personally, I don't carry my glasses in there. I have to wear them all the time. So anyway, uh, I carry an extra set of gloves and... Uh, these are just these are thermal gloves and then uh, and then lens cleaners in there. Uh, the 511 Rush 12 also has in the back compartment here this zippered compartment. You can open that up uh, and you can put in a um, hydration uh, pouch so you can carry water in there. I don't typically use that. Uh, because I, I have the nesting cup and canteen. So anyway, that's that's kind of just a, a breakdown of what I carry. I realize it's not exhaustive as far as uh, I haven't shown you how it all works together, but you can see what I carry with me. And this is this is a concept or an idea, something to give you a vision as to what you can do. Now, you'll, you'll make your decisions as to what you want to carry, what you see is important. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, everybody, when you go out on a hike, you should carry a uh, EDC pack of one sort or another, whatever you deem uh, fits your needs. So anyway, uh, if you like the content, click on the thumbs up. That really helps, helps the channel and uh, uh, click on the subscribe button subscribe to the channel uh, once again that also helps and then click on the bell and you'll get the latest content as i release it uh, you'll be notified so anyhow uh, i look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors